what my office looks like right now. I got my hang tags in yesterday for my pouches and my plushies. I made these kind of like with a twist because I didn't want to just make a hang tag. I wanted to make a sticker hang tag. <gasps> Wait. Oh, it came out perfect. Wait. It came out perfectly. Not gonna lie, I was pretty worried when I first decided to make sticker tags because I wasn't sure if my idea was like clear enough where other people would be able to make it. Whoa. These are the hang tags. So it's gonna look like this. I'm thinking of attaching it onto their tail, like that. I've been waiting for this moment to happen for months now because um, it took a while for them to get to me and it took a while to like design them and now I have all of them here Well, not all of them. But most of it is inside storage in the garage I'm gonna first turn off my pre-orders on my shop so that I can focus on packaging all of these plushies I will be bumping up the prices a little bit now that they're not pre-orders um, when I reopen my shop, I'm going to grade every single one of the products print out all the labels. I very much appreciate like the pre-order style of working or packaging things because I can literally just like sift through all the orders and then I can print out all of them, stack them in different piles and then just like brainlessly pack without like thinking because then I'll have each type of order sectioned out. And yeah, I only, I literally only have like four different products to pack for the pre-orders. I think this time I'm gonna have to try seeing if USPS can come pick up the orders because I have a lot more to ship out this time and I don't think it would be smart to like bring it all there. I'm estimating this is gonna take a week. Whichever one you're on good terms with at the moment. I've had a couple of good talks with the Hawaiian guy. The better I got my taking me a lot longer than I thought to quality check a box of plushies, but I finished my first box and I want to try using this this tag gun, tagging gun that I got. Poke it through. My first tag. I now I wish I made the tag a little smaller, but whatever. Ah Tagging is fun. Yeah? Yeah. How, do you, how are you doing it? I want to see. So, I put it where I want it, which is on the ear. Mm -hmm. And then I take the gun, and I stick it through the hole. Whee! I feel like I'm giving them little ear piercings. I asked my patrons if they had any questions relating to this video and a lot of you are interested in the manufacturing process but I feel like I would rather dedicate a whole video 
to that specifically so for now i'm going to answer the other questions one of the questions was how do you project how many orders you'll receive and for me this is my first time manufacturing such a i guess like intricate project i'm very used to doing prints and stickers and keychains which are pretty straightforward i would say like you just submit jpegs or pngs of your files and you're able to put your graphic or illustration on anything but in this case it's dabbling a lot more into 3d i honestly had no idea what to expect the only reference i had were based off of my previous sales of other products and also my makeship campaign a long time ago when they helped me design my first ever plushie. I was a little bit scared because the manufacturer I was talking to required about like 500 plushies each and I had to negotiate down to that. Originally, they only accepted a thousand pieces each and I was like, no, this is my first time and I would really much prefer if the number was lower and I would really like to work with you. So we negotiated down to that many for my first order and that was very intimidating because for my makeship campaign, if you remember that one, it was 400 plushies as my goal and if I didn't reach that goal, my plushie would not be made. And to get to that goal, I feel like I pushed a lot of marketing and I had to like keep posting about it to reach my 400 mark. So having 500 of each design, I was quite terrified and I didn't know exactly if I was able to meet that. So. I honestly don't know how to project how many orders I will get and that's why I did the pre-orders. Um, I think doing pre-orders is a really good way of gauging how many you should order or how many people are interested in that specific product that you're selling. And I think in the future I will still want to do pre-orders just because it's just a lot easier to manage your expectations of how much you're gonna sell and yeah, that's how I that's how I do things. Another thing that my patrons wanted to know is like the inspiration behind Donnie Honey and my fruit pouches. I try my very best, especially in manufacturing bigger products like this, I try to keep in mind that I want to create things that I want to see in the world that don't really exist in that form yet or like something that I just want to see exist and would be happy to share with the world. And more specifically, um, my plushies were actually inspired by my first plushie, which was Ronnie. And Ronnie is actually based on a real bunny that I know. And after that plushie, I wanted to focus more on like a smaller plushie, one that's more manageable because I definitely don't have the, enough space or capacity to pack larger plushies unless I sell them in very small limited quantities. And so I wanted to make my next plushies after Ronnie smaller, um, something more simple, something you know, like more oval and less parts to it just so that I can dip my toes into like manufacturing plushies. And I think one day I was literally just sitting with my sketchbook in front of me, which is my idea sketchbook where I just doodle whatever ideas I have. And I just started thinking about like dust because I'm pretty sure I was vacuuming or something and staring at my Dyson and I'm like, wow, there's so much dust. And then I'm like, dust bunnies. Hmm, I wonder if a dust bunny plushie exists because I would love to see a dust bunny. And I googled it and not a lot of people were making the dust bunny that I was imagining in my head. And so after I thought about that, I'm like, okay, I'll just jot this down. And if I want to, I will make it. I'll flash a picture of the original dust bunny drawing on the screen. And then Honey, on the other hand, was created as a companion to Donnie so that they're not lonely. And originally, Donnie actually came out as, like my first prototype came out as blue and was not dusty looking at all, just looked like a regular bunny. It literally looked like honey, but blue. And so I guess I just wanted to create a pink one and I just kept adding layers onto it. I'm like, oh, what if I made magnetic accessories? Because that was also one thing I was thinking about for a while, but I didn't know if it was possible. That's how they came 
to fruition. And as for my fruit patches, I was very inspired by those patches that you can find in Korean stationery stores that like you can see online, but they don't ship to the US or shipping costs like an arm and a leg. I don't see a lot of pouches like that here. And I just remember myself thinking like, I really want to buy a pouch like that. And then I just decided like, wait, why don't I manufacture my own pouches so that I can also have one? I just make things because I just want it. And if I make it, then I can share it with other people that want it. And so yeah, that was the whole mindset behind like why I designed what I did. I'd like to give a moment for our sponsor, which is Skillshare. Skillshare is an online learning community with thousands of classes for you to explore your creativity and explore new skills. I've actually been using Skillshare since college and they still add in new classes all the time. If you're looking to start designing merch, I recommend checking out the class Design Great Stuff, How to Make Merch with Draplin, as well as Illustrate for Merchandise, Transform Your Artwork into Products, by Alicia Souza. The first thousand people to use my link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare. Thank you again, Skillshare, for sponsoring this video. It's day... I think it's day four? Day four of packing my honeys, donnies, and pouches. And I'm currently pretty much done grading all the plushies that I need to grade. I still have two boxes in the garage that I will save till after I finish packing all these orders. That will be for like my shop reopening. But right now all the plushies that I need to grade are all done. And today is tagging day. I get to tag the plushies. I was worried that this was going to take a long time. but. I'm actually like packing and tagging at the same time and I think I'll be able to do this part pretty speedily. I don't think this is going to take as long. Also, this is really fun. This is so much more fun than grading things because you can just like give every bunny a ear piercing and they can feel stylish and beautiful. We know it's great. We gotta have other women try it and give us feedback. Where do we find those women? Hang out at Hometown Buffet and hand them out to older women at the soft serve bar? By the way, strangely small cones. I don't think it's gonna fit. Perfect. That's a lot. I guess maybe chicken cheese and This is what my office looks like right now. There's not a lot of walking space. I just went to my PO box and I thought I would do a little unboxing. Thank you everybody for sending me mail. I appreciate all of the lovely messages that you guys write to me and I always enjoy looking at all the cute things you guys decide to send me. Oh my God, this card is so cute. I'm Tiffany, I hope everything made a safe journey. Oh, this is so cute. <gasps> oh, this is so cute. Oh, adorable. Wait, this goes with this one. I think I saw one in here from Mel. 
I see a tote bag. Oh my god. I love me a good tote bag. Look at this veggie tote bag. <gasps> There's snacks in here. Got some, so many stickers. Oh my god. <laughs> I hope you're doing okay. I love her bok choy stickers. They never fail. Thank you, Mel. Oh my gosh. I think someone made this hat for snow. This is from Jessie. And she made a little apple hat for snow. Oh, I can't wait to give this to him. That's my type. That's my type. Yeah, go off. <laughs> I ordered a USP. Yes, car to come by and pick up these orders tomorrow. So I'm gonna move them all outside. Um, yeah, I think I'm pretty much done packing for today. I'm probably gonna just finish up a little bit more, but I'm gonna ship these out first because they're taking up a lot of space. I'm trying to find the last inch of motivation to finish packing the rest of the orders. Does anyone else like edge towards the finish line of a project or task and just lose all motivation? Because this, this is the hardest. This is not it. So what's left right now is the orders of people that like bought both the strawberry and lemon pouches and the people that bought both plushes and both pouches. But I have to wait for my packaging to be delivered for me to do that because the packaging I have now will not fit all four. So I bought a bigger size and I'm waiting for that to come. It should come today. Also, I have about 80 more packages I have to pack that I just have not printed labels out yet, so let's, let's get motivated.
I just want to come on here to thank you again for pre-ordering from my store and just watching my videos in general. Thank you for being so patient with me and the manufacturer and for waiting so many months for them to like finally get to you. As of now, most of the orders have been packed and shipped out. And I've already seen a couple of stories of people unboxing them, so that's very exciting. I still do have about 100 left to go, but by the time you see this video, I would have finished packing all of those orders and they will also have been shipped out. So I'm very excited for everyone to finally receive their little plushies and pouches. And yeah, shout out to my lovely, lovely, lovely patrons for supporting me through this time, especially because I've been doing nothing but packing orders and I can't wait to get back into designing more things and drawing and painting and yeah, please be patient with me. I'm in the current process of moving and packing orders, so I'm gonna be a little quiet. I'm gonna try my best to get things done and to update y'all, but for now, Thank you, and I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.